When we're working with a site soil, that would be a clay-rich soil that is harvested either directly from the building site or from the nearby area. Uh, one of the most important things for us to be able to analyze is the composition of that soil. Um, soils can be categorized as having three primary ingredients, sand, silt, and clay. It is the clay that we are most interested in being able to use from that soil matrix as we will be adding sand uh, to be able to create the plaster or the cog or whatever product it is we're trying to, we're trying to build with. So one of the tests that we'll use to be able to figure out the relative clay content of that site soil is what's called the ribbon test. There are a whole host of different tests that one could use to be able to empirically get a sense of how much clay uh, is in that body of soil. We use a test that was taught to us by soil scientists which is referred to as the ribbon test. And the process is to push a thin ribbon of the soil out between your forefinger and thumb and to get a gauge of how long that ribbon will form before breaking or cracking. And the longer the ribbon, the more clay content is going to be present in that soil. You start with a volume of clay about this size. We want to make sure that it is wet enough to be malleable, but not so wet that it just falls apart in your hands. And using the thumb, we compress the clay over the forefinger and create that thin ribbon that will extend out past the bottom of the hand without cracking or breaking. You can see cracks forming in the edges of the sample, indicating that there is a good amount of clay, but perhaps not the ideal quantity for a really high clay content soil. Let's try that test again with a sample of soil that has an even higher clay content. You can see far less cracking. That sample is holding its form even as it extends further down past the bottom of my hand. This is a terrific soil as judged by the clay content.